Hi everybody, this is Scott Davenport. In this On One short clip, we're gonna do a little bit of retouching in layers with the Perfect Eraser and some of the other retouching tools we have available in On One. So um, I have this photo here of a bridge in Florence and even zoomed out, I can already see that I have a few distracting elements. There's some of these uh, antenna that are all across the tops of the buildings. There's some bits of trash along the edge of the shore. It's a reflection of this bird that's not really very compelling for the photo. And a few other straggling things on the right-hand edge as well. And I'm gonna take these out of the photo, uh, starting with the perfect eraser. And it's always a good idea to work at 100% of the zoom when you are retouching to really make sure you're gonna nail the retouch correctly. So let me grab the perfect eraser right over here and shrink my brush size down. We'll start off with this antenna. I like to get the brush as small as possible so that I can just target what I need. Like that, see how that worked out. Mm, good, but not great. Let's give it one more try. Give me a little more precise on where I place that. There we are. Okay, much, much better. Being careful about that edge there. Make sure that's nice and flat. Um, same thing here. Let's take care of this blurry one over here. That should be a little easier. It's almost nothing at the where it meets the, the top of that roof. That looks good. You get the idea. I can do the same thing for any of these other antenna that I think are distracting. Let's move down to some of the bits of trash. And so we've got one right in here that a little bit of a reflection. So we'll make sure we get the reflection covered. That's good. This clump may be challenging for the eraser because, turn off the cursor blink here, because there's this really strong seam where we have the reflection. Let's give it a try and we'll see how well the eraser does. And that's kind of mungy. I'm gonna undo that. So for something like this, where you've got a bunch of texture, the clone stamp tool is a very good choice. I'm gonna grab clone stamp, I'm gonna shrink down the brush, and it's default 100% opacity. That's fine, I wanna fully replace this trash. And the feather, I'm gonna nudge that up just a little bit and see uh, where that starts with. And so I'm gonna choose a sample point that's somewhere along this Reflection Ridge. I like to work from both directions. First, I'm gonna option click to set my sample point and you get this little swatch that you can move around. Now, I'll place that swatch back down on the scene and kind of just wiggle up and down to blend that in some. And I'm gonna come in from the other side as well. Option click, start to blend that up in there. And the last thing I want to do is make sure I don't have too much of a repeating pattern anywhere. So maybe sample right here. Click on that. Just wiggle that in there a little bit. And I'll move back to the eraser to take care of this little tiny reflection here. So that trash is gone. And maybe even just a little click there to kind of blend that in a little more. And if I hadn't shown you retouching this when you're looking at the photo like this, You'd, you'd, you'd never know you, you, you did, there was any type of retouching done there at all. Now, the last one I want to take a look at is also this reflection here of this bird. Now, again, this is an area where we have a fair amount of texture in the rippling water. Let's see how the eraser fares. It's uh, something I'll always try the eraser first because if it works, it's very simple to do and I can take care of it with just a couple of clicks. That's pretty good. It kept uh, that decent texture there. Let's try the bird, the, the, you know, the actual bird, not the reflection, and we'll see how the eraser does there. Pretty good, maybe a little bit of cleanup there. That's actually looking pretty all right. Maybe one more click. Yeah, great. Okay, so I can repeat this through the rest of the scene, you know, taking care of other trash bits that are over here. Just, you know, those ones will be pretty simple. This guy up there, single clicking all the way through. And in the end, once I'm finished off with everything, I'll have a nice cleaner skyline, I'll have a nice tidy shore, and uh, this little crane over here that uh, is very difficult to see. We may as well just take care of that one right now. That'll be an easy swipe for the eraser. All said and done, I'll have a nice clean scene. So when you're doing your retouching, eraser's great, but when you get into areas of texture, check out that clone stamp tool because that can be much better when you're dealing with hard edges or grain or anything where you've got seams in your photo.